Hello everybody, welcome to Oz Mining YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me guys. Uh, as you would uh, know, over the last few months I have been doing some regular updates on the Ethereum merge and in particular following the dev calls which uh, take place every two weeks. So firstly guys, I really appreciate uh, everyone's uh, feedback, likes, follows on the channel. We've uh, just hit over 500 followers, so I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has uh, contributed, given feedback. Um, you know, it's a really great community. I appreciate the support for the channel. And you know, if, if you're new to the channel, I'd really appreciate your feedback. Um, please subscribe. It goes a long way to uh, making me know that the content is useful and uh, inspires uh, myself and the team to keep um, delivering some content. And if there's any specific content or feedback, um, yeah, please, please share and we will do our best to uh, bring you uh, what you need. So look, today we're going to do our regular, we'll try and keep it around 10 minutes max, I guess a summary of what was discussed in the most recent uh, Ethereum developers call. Uh, this is call number 140 and took place just over a day ago on the uh, 10th of June 2022. So if you've been following and uh, you will know that on the 8th of June, they uh, completed the Ropstein uh, testnet merge. So this is one of the main um, testnets that they, they've merged um, to test out um, how the network's going. So this is a pretty big step in the overall, uh, I guess, uh, plan to get to the main net merge. And what I might just do very quickly, I'll show you here, is... Um, Let's go to a site called When Merge, just to give you a little quick brief overview of context, um, what the steps are to the mainnet merge. So we have just completed the Rops or Ropstein um, merge. Uh, I think on the call today, I think Tim Biko was correcting himself saying it's actually Ropstein, like almost with a U as opposed to a Ropsten. Um, Merge. So that, that uh, took place on the 8th of June. And I'll talk about, I guess, the feedback from the developers and the clients and everyone on the call today, how, how that went, what went good, what went bad. And then the, the next steps are the Gurley merge and the Sapolia merge, which, look, these might be done in a different order. And again, I'll come on to that later. And that then runs to the mainnet merge. And that's when essentially the uh, proof of work uh, will be switched off and the proof of stake uh, will be live on the Ethereum network. One, I, I guess a couple key, I, I guess, technical words used when we're talking about the merge um, and they are kind of interchangeable is the EL layer, which is the execution la layer, aka the mining layer, the current mining, uh, I, I, you know, I guess network. Uh, and as you also call that proof of work. And then the CL, which is the consensus layer which is consensus being proof of stake uh, when there's nodes which are providing consensus on the network as, a pro as opposed to working and doing calculations on the network. So just to run through that again, that's execution layer EL, aka mining, aka proof of work. And the new layer in the future when it merges will be the CL layer or consensus layer, aka proof of stake, which is supported by nodes um, as, as they're staking and, and validating the network. So I just thought I'd share that because that's just some, I guess some of the lingo that I'm picking up and they're using interchangeably uh, on these calls. So let's cover off uh, Ripstein in a couple minutes. So so yes, took place on the 8th of June and you know, they, they were, I guess, you know, there was lots of upgrades done, tweaks to, um, uh, you know, to, to the network and, you know, they've been fixing bugs before and, uh, you know, post-merge. You know, look, let's be honest, it, 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 in summary, it was a pretty uh, good merge. It went well, nothing fell over, nothing broke, nothing blew up. However, you know, and I guess maybe I'm a little bit biased from miners' point of view, is, you know, were there any issues? And yeah, look, there, there, there were. So if I just shout out some of the issues that were talked about in the first, you know, 45 minutes to an hour of the call, uh, there were duplicate blocks uh, created. And, you know, I, I think this is still some of the items of fixing with the, you know, as they're merging the networks, there is still an element of the execution, the proof of work layers, and the consensus layer, proof of stake um, layers. So I think there's duplication in blocks and block numbers, which 
Obviously, that would not be acceptable uh, for a live mainnet merge, so that's some items you need to work through. There were zero transaction blocks, which is another issue that was raised. And again, that doesn't sound like an ideal scenario they want to have on the chain. And so they are working on to fix that. And also there was some detail around the timing of requests or the timing of blocks that were delivered. And again, a little bit of terminology here that I picked up and I thought I'd share is when a block is created, there is request a block. There is a get payload, which is essentially loading in the uh, the detail, the data, the transactions, you know, NFTs, um, you know, D DeFi swaps, um, you know, wh whatever you're doing on the Ethereum network. There is getting the payload, which is inserting, I guess, that um, encrypted data in into the blocks. And then they're sealing the blocks. Um, so that is really interesting talking about the timing of requested blocks, get payload and sealing blocks. And it seemed that there were some issues around the timing, some blocks weren't quite ready or too fast. So it still seems like they're still ironing out some of the timing issues of the blocks. So look, you know, in the core, they were articulated very well. They didn't seem like these were, whoa, you know, wildcard issues, we never heard of these. They all seem like defined and known issues and they have plans to fix them. Uh, and I guess, you know, on the other element, you know, these definitely sound like issues that they don't want to have when they go to mainnet merge. So still seems like there's work to do there. Uh, how much work? Well, again, that was a question that came up a bit, a bit later. So I'm, I might jump to that. And actually what I'll just do, and I don't want to play too much of the actual call today. Uh, my job here is to hopefully uh, save you an hour and a half. But let, let's just have a quick uh, one minute snippet of talking about some of these issues. Here we go. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. That's, yeah. that, that's, that, that's the that that was the problem, and the problem was on the, on root stand because there was a lot of blocks with the same height co going on the same time, and uh, right, that's why some percent of the some small percentage of the node got it at the same time, and that's why they failed. Uh, and uh, rest mm -hmm. fix it. We will just add the add the correct scheduling of this, and uh, that's pretty much it. It's it's a fix that we will do next week. Cool. And when you say, yeah, there were many blocks. I'm going to stop there. So, you, you know, that that's how the first hour of the call went. You know, known issues like I discussed there. Um, they were raising them and they're going to be working on them. So, again, you know, the first hour of the call was just a lot of those issues running through them. So, you know, what does that mean? And, you know, I think at one point, Tim uh, Biko, who was hosting the call, you know, start to talk about, well, if we look forward and going back to when merge, you know, when do we start thinking about, you know, moving beyond um, Ripston and moving to uh, Giorli and Sapolia? I tell you, they, they could have come up with some <laughs> easier to say names, you know, even Tim Biko's, uh, you know, getting corrected on how to say uh, Rupstein instead of Ropstein. So, so overall, it sounded like the developers wanted up to another four to five weeks to iron out some of these Ripstein, uh, I guess, outcomes, some of the issues. Uh, and that's, I guess, sounds about right. You do a test, you have some issues, you want to fix them. Um, some developers said, look, you know, we should try and move a little bit quicker, but there was a general consensus around they don't really want to, uh, I guess, set a date for the next, uh, and it looks like it's going to be Sepolia merge until those issues in Ripsten have been fixed. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, I don't think anyone would argue with that. So, you know, it was talked about, you know, a number of weeks, maybe four to five weeks. I think where they got to is what they're planning to do, it sounds like, is Sepolia will go first. And that will be the Sepolia Beacon Chain launch date would be the 20th of June. And that's not the merge date. That's when they're going to uh, launch it, get it ready. So then I'm expecting then. So what's that? That's that's about a week. So I'm thinking maybe then between I don't know, two, three, four weeks after that, they might be starting to set a merge date. So that would then take us if we look at the calendar, um, so the 20th of June. Uh, you know, maybe it could be maybe mid mid July. I'm thinking in terms of doing that Sepolia merge, uh, and then it sounds like what they do then is the uh, Gorilla merge will happen after that. And uh, you know, again, at the end of this call, we're we'll trying work out you know what some potential mainnet merge you know dates. That's that's what all the miners are. You know, we're all going to be wondering you know when we're going to be switching off Ethereum and. 
I don't know, either selling our rigs or you know starting to mine flux ergo raving coin etc etc uh, so if if the sepolia uh, test and merge happens mid July then you know probably based on what we've seen with Ripstein then maybe Gurley could happen you know probably realistically in mid August is what I'm thinking so you know the main net merge there might be you know possibly looking around September time but look I might come back at that and summarize that at the end um uh and yeah and so like i think with that tim astor group um you know what do we want to see before we move to sapolia and really i think they were just talking about fixing some of those issues i talked about uh fix the height issues um uh, the block height issues and uh you know do a bit more testing so so i think look realistically we'll see uh you know talk of sapolia merge probably mid middle of july uh, and then, uh, you know, Tim asked the group, and I think he passed over to TJ Rush. Uh, actually, sorry, I'm just going to pause there. So I'm just jumping ahead. There was a little snippet I thought this would be useful to share. I think it was about 55 minutes in, uh, and they, they were just talking about the um, these next steps. So let's just come that back that in here now. Uh, Lucas? Yeah, so... Um... Optimally, I would like to have a code that we considered um, finished all the required things uh, for for the merge, um, which current ETA with we have currently very high velocity on that is around four to five weeks, mm, but we can go earlier if the that would be the consensus for the uh, for the other devs. But we would like to. Have at least one mm, one testnet uh, after we, we finalize the code. Right. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. There you go. Yes, I just so I just want to go back there. So yeah, you know, you just see the team there, and that was that was Lucas uh, Ros May. Um, just saying, you know, he's one of the main um, you know dudes that is uh, one of the developers. You know, about four to five weeks before they hit the next um, testnet merge. So again, just validating what I said, I could see. The uh, the Sepolia, if they do that one next, happening uh, middle of July. So wrapping that up, I guess the big uh, questions we got then late on the call was around the difficulty bomb. Now, uh, TJ Rush, one of the developers again, he brought up the uh, block times and he's done uh, a little bit of analysis on how the block times are in increasing at the moment. And, uh, you know, you can see this looking at EtherScan and I'll put the link for this down below. Uh, is You know, we, we've had these blowouts and block times here. And you can see, you know, and I, I did a post a few weeks ago that, you know, we were just getting to 13 second block times. And, you know, now we're getting to high 14s and, you know, we could be at 15 second block times, you know, in, in a matter of days uh, or, or, or weeks. Um, TJ Rush kind of worked through a few of the options. And yeah, let me just go back to, go back to the call. And uh, yeah, here we go. So um, TJ Rush has put these options up, which, you know, I guess is mine. You've been following. These are all sort of valid options. It's one delay the bomb. And he, he gave some good and bad, um, you know, points. Uh, if you delay it, it gives developers more time to finish. The bad side is, you know, it's hard to predict it exactly right. You know, you don't want to be doing it more than once, uh, ideally. And it, it also sort of, I guess, it gives a bad, you know, image from the developing team that, you know, it could be delaying the merge, which, look, it's been delayed for, you know, a number of years now. So, you know, how much that really impacts, I, you know, who, who knows? Uh, you could remove it. And again, you uh, the point on that was it looks bad because you know does it take the pressure off you know developers to get this merge done uh the good side is well if we remove it completely it just says look it's going to happen soon we don't really care about the bomb anymore uh and it all but then back on the bad it might be like well we're not really focused on the timeline uh the other option is do nothing let the um block times keep uh growing uh but look i think the key point is here this is not forget the miners forget you know us guys you know uh you know our, our profit will come down because less blocks equals less profit the network's slowing down etc it's just not good for your users you know it's not good user experience to have slow block times people are doing transactions on the network they're paying higher gas fees you know this is not cust good customer experience and i think it was good that the group acknowledge that and you know i think you know whether you're a miner whether you want to go proof of stake 
you know, the Ethereum network is a, you know, it's a tool, it's it's a network, it's a function, it's supporting users, you know, and you've got to look after the user experience, you know. So so I think it's great that you put these options up there. Uh, there was talk around some people saying, look, whatever we do, let's just, let's commit to a date when we do the merge. And then that was sort of pushed back saying, no, no, we're not going to give a date because if we don't deliver that, that will be bad. And I think, again, that was a fair point. Uh, so where do they get to? And again, I'll say you listen to the rest of this call is they got to delay it. So, you know, woohoo, you know, for, for minus point of view, that's good. Delaying it means the network speeds up, um, given the lower profitability at the moment, because Ethereum has really dropped like the rest of the, um, you know, coins at the moment and in the crypto space, you know, speeding up the network, increasing, um, lowering block times, more blocks does help profitability. Because the more blocks we're doing, the more blocks we're mining, the more profit we can, we can earn. So that was good news. Um, so delay was the, uh, you know, pretty unanimous, unanimous across the board, going to delay the um, uh, the difficulty bomb. You know, what does that look like? So look, the delay was agreed. Uh, what they're planning to do is, you know, prepare a note, formalize it for next Wednesday the 15th. And they might just cover it off on the consensus layer call, which will happen next uh, Thursday evening, um, Thursday straight Friday, depending which part of the world you're in, on the 16th of June. Then it looks like they're going to propose the fork to include the difficulty bomb delay on the 29th of June. So that's just over two weeks. And then the delay that will likely be implemented and they don't talk about it in date necessarily. They talk about it in number of blocks. So they, you know, a number that was banded around was about half a million blocks, which based on current, uh, I guess, network speed and the amount of blocks they're producing a day is around two and a half to three months. So, so what does that mean? So big picture is next two weeks, the block times are going to increase and we could get to 15 seconds. From the... 29th of June, they should be activating the difficulty bomb delay. So we should see block times go back down to, uh, you know, let, let's um, let's zoom out here, um, you know, down to maybe sort of 13s, low 13s. Uh, and then we expect then the difficulty bomb will, you know, and let's zoom out again, you know, we should sort of see this plateau and not really expect a spike up again for two and a half, three months. So, so let's have a think about that. So end of June, so we'll get July, August. So probably, probably late August, sometime in September, we should we'll probably start to see the the block times increase again. Back to sort of what we're seeing at the moment. So, and let me bring that back into then what my uh, I I guess expectations is on when they might merge. And we talked about these steps here. So, if they do Sapolia, middle of July. You know, I think given what we've seen on Rupstein and the testing, the evaluations, the fixes, I don't think they're going to do Gear early until, you know, I've got to be honest, early, mid-August. And if that goes well, well, look, I, I probably predict, and it's not financial advice, it's my own thoughts and opinions, I would say September is looking at a pretty likely date. However, we don't know what we don't know. And as these guys are openly testing and sharing issues, you know, they're, they're not hiding away from, you know, they are trying to fix things. And whilst I expect with anything, you know, in, you know, systems, projects, the number of issues should reduce and get easier to do as you progress the project. You know, you start to take away the big issues and you, you, you work it down to a point where you're in a good space to, to go live. So I don't think the issues are going to get bigger and harder and get more unusual. So I think September is quite a likely date um, for the mainnet merge. Now, look, let's give a degree look of kind of, uh, you know, tolerance for that. Is it going to happen earlier? It might, could happen in August, but I don't think so. Could it happen in October, November? Yeah, you know, that, that's quite likely as well, you know. So, so I would say my personal range is, you know, September is probably the most likely earliest date. October, yep. Yeah, could well happen and maybe November at, at the latest. Do I think it's going to go into 2023? Something pretty major has got to fall over. So my own thoughts at the moment, no. But, you know, I do think it would be later this year, 
sometime between September and October and maybe November's contingency. So, so guys, I hope that was a good wrap up. I hope you found that useful. Um, you know, this is my uh, attempt just to give you guys, you know, just a quick, um, you know, 10, 15 minute, uh, you know, summary of the dev call as we're progressing towards the merge. Uh, I am actually doing another video uh, looking at, you know, a minor strategy at the moment, you know, top 10 tips to survive the bear market, the merge, and I'll hopefully release that um, middle of the next week. Yeah, but in the meantime, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Really appreciate your subscribes, your likes. Uh, we did run a competition uh, where we're aiming to get a thousand subscribers by the Ripstein merge. Uh, what I'm going to do, we didn't quite get there, but I really appreciate all the feedback, the likes. I'm going to reset that giveaway, and uh, you know maybe we'll we'll do that for difficulty bomb, uh, which looks like it's going to be implemented at the end of this month. Uh, let's get some giveaways going. I want to share the love, give you guys some some flux, some super zero, some Thero, some great projects on mining, and um, you know I think these have got great potential. Might not be that profitable immediately post merge, but you know let let let's let things stabilize. Let's see how Ethereum goes, proof of work, and then we can work out you know what which proof of work networks we are going to support and uh, you know try and uh, make make some money on. So guys, thanks for watching. Have a fabulous weekend and we'll see you on the next edition of Oz Mining.